Book Readings with Miss Bernard. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Book Readings with Miss Bernard. Today's story is I Color Myself Different. Written by former NFL quarterback and civil rights activist Colin Kaepernick. Illustrated by Eric Wilkerson. Let's begin. Hey, I'm Colin. I read books. I play sports and games. And I have a lot of fun with my friends. I don't know too many kids who look like me, which makes me super cool. Because I'm different, you know? I have super cool skin, super cool hair, and a super cool family. Sometimes it's not easy, but being one of a kind sure is amazing. Somebody has to do it. And that somebody is me. But one day, I had to learn that being different takes courage. It happened at school. Good morning, class. Today we are going to learn about families, Mrs. Musa said. Grab a sheet of paper and your art boxes. We'll start by drawing what our families look like. This is going to be easy, I thought to myself. I have the best family ever. I'm going to draw my mom, my sister, and our kitty cat, Mr. Noodles said Sarah. Well, I have a huge family with my parents, grandparents, and lots and lots of cousins. I need two papers, joked Eric, my best friend. I didn't say anything because drawing is serious business. I had to choose the right, right, just right pencil, just right paper, and just right colors. I had to focus. First, I outlined, scribbled, shaded, erased, and outlined some more. Then I laid out all of the crayons so I could pick the perfect colors. Hmm, aha, got it, finished. Mrs. Musa asked us to show our family portraits to the class one by one. I love seeing how families look different and beautiful in their own ways. I couldn't wait to share mine. This is my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, and my dog, Kiwi. We like to go to the park, eat cookies, and... But before I could even finish, Becky blurted out, Why are you the only brown one in your family? Then I heard from the back, why did you color yourself different? At first, I froze. I was surprised, shocked, stunned. I liked being brown and different, but the questions made me feel bad. Then I remembered when I had asked my mom the exact same question. Mom, why am I the only brown one in our family? Why am I different color? Honey, some children join families when they are born, and others join families after they are born. When you were a baby, Colin, we decided to adopt you, and you made our family whole, Mom answered. Adopted means different? Adopted means special, Mom smiled. Being adopted is an extra special way to join a family. Even though we don't share the same skin color, we share the same love. And that's what matters most. Ever since mom wrapped me in that warm hug, I knew having brown skin and being adopted made me special. I have brown eyes, a brown nose, and brown hands. Just like the people who inspire, create, lead, and change the world. There's Huey Newton. Angela Davis, Toni Morrison, Ida B. Wells Barnett, Muhammad Ali, Audre Lorde, Malcolm X, Tommy Smith, and John Carlos. That made it easy for me to unfreeze quickly. I stood tall, opened my eyes, and said, 
I'm brown. I color myself different. I'm me and I'm magnificent. I said it a little louder so those in the back could hear me. I'm brown. I color myself different. I'm me and I'm magnificent. <laughs> you are magnificent, magnificently brown and magnificently different, affirmed Mrs. Musa. Brown is beautiful, added a classmate. Brown is the color of my favorite superhero. And the color of my doctor, chimed in another. And the color of my best friend, added Eric. Mrs. Musa smiled and clapped her hands. Wonderful, my magnificent students. Then she talked about the ways people and families can be different and full of love. I love my brown skin and I love my family and I love being different. As we talked, I snuck a few seconds to add something very special to my family portrait before hanging it up on the wall. That day, I was proud. I was proud of my brown skin and I was proud to be me. It was that day that I colored myself different for all the world to see. The end. <laughs> What an inspiring story about loving yourself no matter how different you are from your family and friends around you. Remember, it's okay to be different. No matter what, you're still magnificent. <laughs> All right, friends, thank you for tuning in to another Book Readings with Miss Bernard. As always, have a wonderfully beautiful, awesome, and magnificent day. Bye-bye.